Cotterman was started in the 1920s in Illinois by the Cotterman family. Cotterman's always uh, had an element of quality, high quality about it, which we are careful to preserve. We, we do more welding, we have better materials, we have better finishes, and it's generally a better ladder, and people in the marketplace know that it is better. We find a lot of our customers have special needs, and so we are, are very amenable to changing the ladders, modifying them to fit the customer's circumstances. We might receive you know, uh, orders for 300 units today and 600 tomorrow, and we're not pulling from inventory, we're making the order. So what we do is we, we generate common parts uh, through a Kanban system daily. Uh, we replenish those and we have those components available, things like our stair treads, uh, things like some of our tubular parts. And then once we receive the orders, uh, very quickly, uh, four to five times a day in each of our facilities, uh, production work orders go out and we take uh, that combination of common parts and we construct them into finished ladders uh, per order. We've been uh, very careful to uh, reduce our turnaround time so we can ship uh, for our biggest customer, WW Granger, will ship within 24 hours after receipt of order. Granger declared that we were supplier of the year last year of 3,200 suppliers for Granger. We were number one. Lincoln uh, uh, supplies all of our welding equipment, and both the, the MIG welders and now, of course, the robots in the new System 55 especially, really enables us to make parts fast and accurately. And uh, so it's been a big factor in, in how we got the Granger Award. We had purchased in the past uh, several uh, System 40s, kind of off the shelf, if you would, uh, uh, robot systems. And we were interested in something a bit different. We needed to begin with a System 55 base unit and then do some customization. So Lincoln was, was up to that challenge. They were willing to do their piece of the build on the robot and design and allow a, a third party toolmaker to do their piece and allow us to be uh, essentially the integrator to pull all of those systems together and ultimately get exactly what we wanted. We moved into welding a larger component that we had welded in the past. Um, the geometry of the, the component, component was as such that we needed to be able to rotate the part to be able to access some of the weld areas. So uh, the System 55 with a, a much longer weld area and rotary positioners gave us that. Later on we realized that we can also utilize it for other component welding other than the primary uh, stair assembly and we developed the concept of utilizing what we call the B side of the machine to be able to load multiple fixtures, multiple parts and kind of have it be a just-in-time provider for those smaller components as well. With our smaller cells we tended to uh, put a particular part or component in the robot, make that for several days or several shifts to make a batch of parts and then switched. Uh, with the 55, what we were looking to do is be able to implement just-in-time in robot manufacturing. So the operator might make 20 different units on a particular shift. He might make uh, another 10 variations of a particular, particular model. So through the sensing of the robot and the program that we developed, a lot of that is very intuitive. It really reduced the learning curve in terms of the operator having to know all the intricacies of all these parts. The beauty about hand welding is it's very flexible. I can walk up to Bob and say, Bob, make me two of these, three of these, and four of those. I need them for today's production. Um, we've really developed the 55 to move in that direction. So we have all the advantages of robotic welding, including productivity and, and quality of weld, but we're also getting the, uh, uh, one of the great benefits of hand welding, which is flexibility. And that's really our goal. Well, we're going to keep growing. That's the thing. We want to grow and improve. We stay competitive by uh, not just making a quality product, but addressing uh, the productivity piece of it. So uh, robotics are a very important uh, piece of that for us. This last cell, kind of, we, we stretched our wings a bit and looked and are doing parts that we had not done a few years ago. And I think what that did more than anything, not just improve our productivity with those parts, but I think it gave us some confidence that we can now move again and push the envelope a bit more. So um, we're working on the next generation of that right now.